Coach Zach here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you some cool jump rope tricks that you can use to start to spice up your routine. The benefits of jumping rope are immense. I mean, it has cardiovascular benefits. It brings your mind and body connection together by increasing your coordination and rhythm. And by doing some of these tricks, these that are difficult, will actually get your mind working even more. If you're just starting jumping rope, then check out the video I made that goes over the basics on how to jump rope. Once you get the basics down, you wanna bring it together in a full total body jump rope routine, which we've made for you, and you can have it in the pinned comment down below. If you click on it today, you also get a free pair of jump rope to get you started on that program. Let's get it. Now, I don't know the names for some of these tricks, so I just came up with some fun names, but if you know the names, go ahead and let me know by leaving a comment down below on what I'm doing and what the name of it is. The first one I'm gonna show you is the boxer's jump. Now, all you have to think about is a traditional jump, right? You're jumping on the balls of the feet equally on both feet. With the boxer's jump, you're just gonna be alternating between one foot and then the other. And as you jump, the leg that's jumping, you can extend that leg or you can keep it bent, but you're just alternating one ball of the foot to the other. Looks like this. Okay, so I'm just alternating one foot to the other. You can extend that other leg for a variation. You can keep the leg bent. That's the boxer jump. From there, you can move into the twist. The twist, both feet jumping equally on the ground, but you're just rotating at your core. So your toes are gonna be pointing to the right and then to the left with each jump. Remember, stay on the balls of your feet. And then if this is too hard to go from left to right, what you can do is go from right to center and then over to the left. So you can break it up with a jump in the middle or you can just go from left to right. The next trick I'm gonna show you, I don't know the official name, so I called it the river dance. What it is, is basically, you have a normal jump in between, but in between each normal jump, you're gonna cross one leg in front of the other, then return to center, and then the other leg goes out in front. So, it's like this. Normal jump, cross, normal jump, cross. Remember, stay on the balls of your feet, that's the key. Light on the feet, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. The next trick is, I'm gonna call it row your boat. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a normal jump and then to start the row your boat, you're gonna bring your hands together on one side. So, it's so a jump, bring your hands together and then you're gonna swing the rope, right? So from here, swing, swing, swing. And you can even do this without your jump. So you just get the technique of it, hands together, and just swing it from side to side, rotating at your shoulders. Try to keep your head forward, right? So don't let your head go from side to side. Keep your head forward. And then from here, that's when you can start to incorporate it into your jumps. So your hands are apart, then bring them together. Hands together, right there. So row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. The next trick, I'm gonna call it crisscross applesauce. This is a difficult one, so it might take you some time to get it, but just practice and you'll eventually be able to do it. So from here, just again, practice your normal jumps. You can start slow. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your hands and you're gonna cross your arms together. The key is that when you cross your arms, you wanna have enough space through the rope for your body to pass through. You're also probably gonna to need to jump a little bit higher, especially in the beginning when you're just getting this. So, start slow. And then, when you're ready, cross. A little bit of a higher jump. You see, I'm bringing my heels towards my butt. Just start slow, and eventually, you'll be able to get it. Crisscross applesauce. So we're just having some fun with these tricks. You can use these tricks to spice up your routine. And if you don't have a jump rope routine, why not? This is a very effective tool to get you in total body conditioning shape and make your mind and body work together. So for that routine, check out that pinned comment down below. 
And if you do it today, you get a free pair of jump rope to get you started on that routine. As always, I'm Coach Zach, Team Critical Bench, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, yeah.